the Aries cross watchers have the best reading so far. Hello, Aries Cross Watcher. Welcome to the Cross Watcher only reading. I am Princess India. If you are new and if you're family, welcome back, my friend and whatnot or whatever. So anywho, if you're not familiar with what a Cross Watchers only reading is, it is a reading that I do with the intention to give someone who is dating or, you know, doing something, you know, with an Aries person, the ability to, uh, you know, lurk a little, cross watch a little, you know what I'm saying, whatnot or whatever. But I've heard through the grapevine, the grapevine being my comments, that these resonate for non-romantic situations, like, you know, families, coworkers, things of the sort. And sometimes they're like flip-flopped. So I will be talking about Aries and you may feel like that's you. So, you know, just get in where you fit in, you know what I'm saying? So anywho, we're gonna go ahead and jump into these cards and see what is going on with your Aries person for October 15th through November 15th. Let's see. All right, first card. That came out for that Pisces. We have the chariot. That is Cancerian energy. We have a little uh, Mercury uh, going on, a little Mercury energy going on here. And we have the two of wands in the reverse. And then we have the high priestess and that's good old Neptune energy and Piscean energy, 12th house energy, divine feminine energy, you know, all that good stuff. But what it is looking like coming into this, my cross watcher friend, um, the first thing that comes to me is um, there's thoughts about or a desire to move forward or a desire to communicate with your Aries person in order to move things forward. Um, I don't necessarily feel that so much in a, in a 3D sense. It feels conceptual more than anything i would say more in your um yeah 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 it feels more conceptual some of you guys may have just recently gone through a spiritual um awakening or just decided like solo dolo to um to move forward or transform your life in some way shape form or fashion however coming into the present energy um, it's an inability to let go of the past, and I see a blue moon in this card. So that means that um, whatever we're talking about now, amongst other things, um, are going to have a great deal to do with this portal that we are all going through. Um, oh, well, that's a whole nother message. Uh, well, not a whole nother. It's in accordance with what I was saying. The portal that we're going through on the 31st of October, and specifically for you, my cross watcher friend, um, it's not just one does not, it's a desire to move forward and does not know how. Um, it's the fact that what's impeding you from moving forward is you being chained to your past. Now, how that, you know, interrelates with your Aries person, I don't know yet, but um, there's a need in some sense, and this was why I say, man, y'all must have just recently, well, yeah, recently gone through some sort of awakening, whether that's like in totality, or it's just you guys ascending to a, a higher level of awareness, because there's elements here of, um, it's like your old life and your new life. I'm just loving how these readings are coming out. I love how these are like love readings, but it's like they, they still are coming out like soul sessions. And that's so funny. Um, there's elements of your old life here. And the concept that I'm speaking about is, is um, in the most simplistic sense, if we were to talk about like awakening, awakening is coming to the realization that you aren't your body in the most simplest mundane form, right? It's going through life and, you know, being the, the byproduct of your culture and your conditioning and your nationality and your parents and like, you know, all this other kind of stuff, your life experiences. And it's suddenly coming into the awareness that there's more to you than you thought, you know? And then you go through this process of trying to divorce the body, trying to embrace the spirit, you know? And then it's like you realize that it was never about, you know, you divorcing the body, 
you know, it's about the marriage between the two. So in so many words, this still, we're not talking about this Aries person yet. <laughs> this is more or less when we talk about you leaving behind your past. Man, who are y'all cross watcher? This in essence would be talking about you guys ascending to a higher state of being or a higher state of consciousness. But in order to do so, there's a need to divorce the old, like take off the old man, if you will, you know, and it's more or less um, like a rebirth of oneself. This is getting so deep. It's a rebirth of oneself because it's this, it's almost like, and I mean, I understand that this is talking about the portal. It's like proverbially, and then we're talking about this cardinal cross too. Oh gosh, and then Aries is a part of the cardinal sign. Cancer is a part of the cardinal sign. Oh my goodness. This just got so deep. Um, we're talking about you proverbially um, crucifying yourself, if you will, like your old self so that it can be resurrected proverbially speaking because the whole point of this is you being in tune with your higher self like your inner self your christ consciousness if you will i'm here for it but um all of this leads up to this portal that we're going into or going through on the 31st it's an epic crossroads an epic choice because astrologically there's like a, a you know a whole cardinal cross thing going on that's affecting cardinal signs greatly um but it's more or less you're coming to a crossroads and you're making a choice and the two people um that you're making a choice between would be your past like your old self how you identified with your persona which is like who it is that you are in the world and your authentic self in so many words and the reason why there's this desire here with the chariot card for you to more or less uh in the most mundane sense just move forward in your life buy a new car <laughs> right in the most mundane sense but in a higher spiritual sense it's it's like a a thirst or or a craving in life for more so again i haven't flipped over the rest of the cards but you know this is what it's coming out as it's like it's more or less you craved for more and up until this point you guys have been going through the proverbial fires of transformation and the purpose of that is to refine you it's like alchemy that's happening is to refine you um for you to kind of get rid of all of the residual residue and to emerge as your true authentic self and it's like the staple date for this would be the 31st, you know, when you're making your, um, your decision in reference to this. This don't sound like a love reading yet. <laughs> Next, we have the Two of Cups. Thank you, Two of Cups. Come through. <laughs> then we have the Ace of Pentacles. And then we have the Three of Wands. So this is interesting. What it's looking like is um, with you and your Aries person, there is um <laughs> some of y'all i just have to say it, some of y'all might have done it i'm just gonna throw that out there but that's neither here nor there it's not my business but it's more or less it's a it's a connection that the two of you have it's a um a chemistry a, a uniting factor that um the two of you have together and with this ace of pentacles I feel that there's some sort of a uh, tangible offer that's being made, but I don't know why this is coming off to me as like that's causing conflict. So it's more or less, my cross watcher person was on a path. So this may very well be a new Aries person that you met. My cross watcher person was on a path and you were heading towards something, right? But then you meet this Aries person and there's like this, this soul resonance, right? Or y'all did it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then it's like, there's this offer given to you to potentially build something and then move forward with you, right? Because with this three of wands under this high priestess, it's like, it's more or less uh, an expectation or a waiting if you will, 
but it's almost as if this offer or this person coming into your life kind of upset the apple cart for you. So this would look like to me like somebody, which would make sense why the first part of this reading came out like this. This would seem to me like someone who, it's like you, I don't want to necessarily say got used to being single, but it's kind of just like you who had your life kind of figured out and where it was that you wanted to go, you know? And I don't really think it was in the cards or in the plans for you to meet someone, but you met someone, this Aries, right? And now it's like, with them making an offer to you or, or wanting to like build something with you or continue on this journey with you, you're kind of like, I don't, I don't know, because it's, it's kind of like a blip in the plan, if you will, because you really didn't see this coming. So you really don't have like a contingency plan for it in so many words. So it's almost as if that's causing like a sense of um, conflict for you. Cause it's like, you don't know how to move forward with that. <laughs> well, I mean, hello. At the bottom of the deck, we have the two of pentacles. If that's not indecisiveness, I can tell you already, it's too many full moons that I see in this. It's like legit, um, because the, the 31st is a full moon in uh, Taurus specifically, but it's also a blue moon. And we got that here. We got buku full moons. But um, I would have to say that in reference to this connection, dude, um, it's more or less like a, a choice one has to make. Now, if we were to get down into the nitty gritty of that, I don't necessarily feel, because it's almost as if Crosswatcher, like from your perspective, it feels like you're choosing one thing or the other. Like you have to either choose to be with this person or choose yourself. So it's like, that's what's making you kind of eh. So if I were to dig deeper into that mindset, that would say to me that there's some sort of a belief that um, one sees connections, partnerships or relationships as like hindrances, or maybe you just had like not so stellar history in the past with partners. And it's like you having so much momentum of wanting to change your life or ascend spiritually, whatever it is that you're doing, that it's like, even though this is something that you may have wanted for a very long time, um, you don't really know what to do with it now. And there may even well be some of you where, um, and this might be maybe one person, where somebody like proposed to you or something and you said, yeah, but now it's like, you're like wigging out on some stuff. But with this two of pentacles at the bottom of the deck, that's all speaking to indecisiveness. So it's like, and of course, I always tell you guys, like this can go vice versa. Like if you feel like you resonate with the, with the other energy, then go with it. But just to save my brain, <laughs> I'm gonna read this um, the way that I'm reading it now. But it's, it's looking like an, in, like it's an indecisiveness and it's like, it's fear-based. Because it's like, I don't really know what to do with this. Like, it's an opportunity. It's something that can bear fruit, you know? And it is emotionally connected with you. Like, it's in alignment with you. I just feel that it, this came at a time you didn't expect. And for some of y'all, this may literally be like a pregnancy that you didn't expect, you know? It's like, say if you're with your person or whatever, or if this is just somebody that you were dating, and it's like you were kind of, you know, living your life going in like a particular, you know, direction and you, you kind of knew what you were doing. And then you end up finding out that you're pregnant and it's like, screw, pump the brakes, <laughs> right? So now it's like trying to figure out like, okay, what are we going to do? And then if I were to go even deeper into that, there's some of y'all who know or found out and you haven't told the person yet you know because it's just like it really feels like it's something where you just didn't expect it but the thing that came up it isn't a bad thing you know what i'm saying so it's not like anything negative it's just you were headed in one direction you you had it all figured out to a certain extent and then this thing, whether it's a person, it's a kid, whatever the case, just comes in 
And it's like, granted, it's a gift, but you, it, it, that just wasn't in the cards for you. So it's like trying to figure out now, like how you handle this, you know what I'm saying? The next card that we have is the emperor. Mm. And <laughs> that's Aries energy. Y'all, I know you like. Let me find out that y'all are cancer. I'm just going to pass out. Because <laughs> we got in, in the, the row right here is the chariot, the two of cups, and then the emperor. So if y'all are like Cancerians, dog, that would just be hilarious. Because it's the two of cups between the two of you. That's fascinating. Then we have the three of cups. And then we have the eight of swords and the reverse. Aries cross watcher, I might have to say, <laughs> I think so far, for all the signs I've done up to this point, I think that the Aries bays, the Aries cross watchers have the best reading so far because the only thing that's coming out of the blue for you guys is something good. Okay, congratulations because it's we've been on a struggle bus, you know what I'm saying? So anywho, we have the emperor, we have the three of cups and we have the eight of swords in the reverse. So really what we're talking about here, um, and man, I could wrap this up <laughs> so quick. Um, this is so fascinating. So here's the thing. The, yes, you were going in a particular direction. Yes, this is a thing that you didn't expect. But this thing that's coming, and it, even if it's like a level of suspicion that you have, underneath this... Um, this ace of pentacles is the three of cups which is a card of joy and celebration you know and rider weight it's talking about like a marriage celebration you know so whether this is somebody who you know if you have cold feet after you got engaged or you know you found out you're pregnant and you're scared to be a parent or you know whatever the case may be and um yeah, whatever the case may be, the whole thing that I feel that this uh, problem, if you will, or this unrest or this not knowing how to move forward, like all of this is rooted in a lack thereof of making a decision. I know that sounds hella simplistic, but that's legit. Oh, that's fuzz. I got scared. I was like, what is that? But um, I know that sounds hella simplistic, but that's literally what we're talking about here. With the Eight of Swords in the reverse being you guys' last card out, it's more or less just needing to, and I know that sounds easier said than done, but it's literally all of the unrest, the chaos, the confusion that you feel, like the anxiety, whatever, all of that is rooted in a lack thereof of making a decision. Looking at the Two of Pentacles upright, looking at the Two of Wands in the reverse, those are the same energies to me. It's like, it's almost like a distrust for the situation or this false belief that either being with this person or having a kid is going to somehow like stop you from being who you are, but it it's not <laughs> because it's like you, you're still you, you know what I mean? So like how I was talking about in the beginning where I was talking about like, like awakening and like your persona, like who it is that you are in the world and like who you are on the inside. The importance of that is, is when we think about our humanity or your persona, there's limitations to that, just like our human life. It's like, it, that's, that's finite. You know what I'm saying? That isn't forever. But it's like your soul essence, it's like that's something that's infinite. That's who you really are. So if you feel that you're following like some divine path or your heart's desires or however it is that you want to um, describe it, if you're following the unctions of your soul, pursuing your purpose, like whatever the case may be, it's like that's not going to change just because of human circumstances. You know what I'm saying? So it's almost like looking <laughs> at a blessing like a curse because it's just this, it, it, it's needing to reconfigure your mindset because it's once upon a time, this isn't possible. Like you can't, you know, I don't know, be successful and be married or um 
you know, you can't finish college when you have a kid or, or something. It's like, if this looks to me, <laughs> and it feels like a personal reading, dog, like, but I got to read it how I see it. But it's like, in relation to this Aries person, it's like, it's redefining your definition of success is really what this is looking like to me. Because it's coming into this, it's seeing it as a hindrance or a prisoner or something that's stopping you from your, your, your path or what you were trying to pursue. And that just isn't the case. It's like, this is almost like a blessing in disguise. But what's required is for you to understand that you are not limited by your circumstance or your experiences and the way that this is looking this doesn't look this doesn't look bad at all you know this doesn't look bad at all this is almost like helping you and and setting you free you know what i'm saying it's like you get a gift and you get to break a mindset at the same time but at the root of it you have to make a choice though because the whole reason why we're here is because there is a lack thereof of making a choice. Why you're stuck one foot in the past and like trying to move forward and don't know how because it's something that has to be sacrificed. So if you're trying to choose like, and this is like legit, if you wholeheartedly believe like I can't, you know, be married right now, I can't be with someone right now, whatever the case, it's like you have to make a choice to, to leave that behind. And to be honest about it, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to be in a relationship, like whatever it is that you guys are, are torn between and like cut ties with that past and elect to go in the other direction, leaving that behind. You know what I mean? Or you choose to go with it and you commit to it and you stick it out for the long haul. You know what I'm saying? Because the only prison is indecisiveness, you know? So it's just really about what you want and where this comes to the 31st is all of us are coming to that place. It's knowing that you can't have, you know, one foot in and one foot out because that makes you ambivalent. You know what I mean? And it makes you stagnant. So if you guys want to continue progressing forward and dude, this is so strange because it's like, I feel like I'm just talking to one person, you know, <laughs> the most I felt for Aries energy is like, they just coming in like, Hey, love me on some stuff you know but like i say for some of you this may be reversed maybe this is how you know your aries person is feeling about you and this is something they're grappling with of you know because they do you know operate in that whole trailblazing energy and things of the sort you know what i mean and them wanting to be successful because that's another way i could look at it it's like if this was talking about an aries person who's very career driven and has desires and stuff in their life and them wanting to you know rule their proverbial empire you know what i'm saying it's almost like it could be in a sense um that their heart's desire if you will is career success you know and then it could be you know the cross watcher that's you know wanting to move forward into the future in so many words, with the Aries person, you know, and it's two people who want two different things, you know, but whatever the case, whether it's the cross watcher or it's Aries, in order to um, heal, I don't even want to say conflict, but the unrest, I would have to say, like, what's going to bring both of you peace is if a decision is made, whether it's to continue with each other or not. You know, but I mean, if you did, it don't look bad is all I'm saying. This is probably the most interesting reading I have done yet. Like, I mean, it's positive, but th just the way that it came out, this is so fascinating to me, but I'm here for it. So that's your reading, <laughs> Cross Watcher. I'm going over to Vimeo, my website, Patreon and YouTube members to do you guys extended. And in the extended, we're going to look at how, um, your Aries thinks and feels about you at present. So if you're about that life, follow me over there. I'm going to see how interesting this is going to be. But if not, I still love your freaking face. And I will see you guys sooner than later. Sooner if you're going to the extended. And if you remember, I already know we're going to see each other in like 2.5 seconds. You know what I'm saying? Love your face.